Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing our challenge series with different animal types. It is time for the third installment of the series after seeing the polar bears win and the wolves unfortunately lose quite horribly against guards. We are now going on to the next iteration which is the dragons slash uh, lizards in general. So. As always, I'm going to start with a few thoughts around the builds and then we're going to have kind of an easy slash moderately difficult encounter in endgame and then we're going to go up against guards and see how well or how long we can sustain that. Dragons or lizards fall very much into the B tier of animals. They are less extreme uh, than wolves. Uh, no, A tier, sorry. Wolves were A tier, they are A tier as well. So they are less extreme uh, than wolves in terms of not giving as much of a crit bonus, but um, they do have a few other things going for them. So fully maxed on level 14, uh, they come in with around 300 hit points. Nothing to write home about, uh, almost like the alphas. Uh, so they are equally squishy but there are a couple of things that they indeed have uh, going for them uh, they trade the evasion of uh, the wolf uh, for a couple of other topics number one putrid bite which can be upgraded and i'll come uh, with that uh, in a second specifically if anyone is bleeding it applies two random debuffs for one round and that can be quite strong from time to time then on top of it, they do have poison uh, via their tail slash, which is an AOE attack uh, just on top of it, making it even better uh, for them to fight against large hit point pool enemies such as bears, for instance. They, um, and they are quite resilient and I'll show exactly why they are resilient. Once you max willpower and movement, you get to a kind of okay crit uh, rate of 65%, so that's very similar to the bears. The resiliency, however, comes from uh, their ability tree. And I skilled uh, left hand side all the way. Resilient metabolism allows for poison burning and bleeding resistance. That's great because that opens up the burning color, which means they theoretically would be burning, but they are resistant against it, so it's not happening but everybody adjacent to them is starting to burn as well. So that is really, really strong if you think about it, because all of a sudden these guys are living torches. They will light up whoever is uh, going to stand next to them. Um, if they land a critical hit, they get a dodge, which means they completely cancel out the next attack. That's super good. If you can get enough crit onto them, they are uh, just going to be very, very decent tanks despite their low hit point uh, pool. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, that's really where they excel. They get an attack and then uh, the enemy can only attack once oftentimes and they will dodge it. Now here's where the fun starts, paralyzing uh, Venom. Every time the unit attacks a bleeding enemy, it also applies vulnerability, making sure that their next hit is definitely a critical one. So with that, uh, they effectively, after the first hit, have a crit chance of 100 against uh, enemies that they stick to. And the last one is anti Kugeland Venom. Every time the unit attacks a bleeding enemy, they uh, trigger bleeding damage. So <clears throat> now we just need a way of uh, uh, of regularly making enemies bleed and that's where the dragon's passive comes in whenever they are attacked they will make uh, the enemy bleed they themselves uh, resist bleeding and burning so the idea with the dragons really is um, engage his opponent opponent is burning opponent gets tongue slashed and is bleeding and uh, gets uh, tail slapped and is poisoned. So we're looking at bleeding, poison, and burning, all three at once. And on top of it, whenever we're attacking a bleeding enemy, uh, we're uh, going to um, we're we're going to evade their hits. And this here is their passive applies bleeding to any unit dealing melee damage to them, which is really a nice little interaction. So. 
once that's set up and we're really having a bleeding enemy then the rest comes in nicely and I think that the dragons are going to tank relatively well. So that's really all of their shtick. As always we have a Beastmaster with us and let's jump right into the first combat. Uh, this time not bears but we went into the Car uh, Caribbean uh, areas and are fighting against a potentially even more difficult uh, fight. Maybe it's already a difficult fight. It's kind of in between what the um, guards would normally have as a fight and uh, and what the bears would set up as a challenge. I think particularly why I chose not to do the bears uh, with the bleeding plus burning plus poison setup of the dragons. It's a bit of a uh, mood point they will just run over the bears like it's no man's business because all three together on a um, 1300 hit point uh, pool will deal nearly 50% of the base um, hit point uh, damage of the enemy so that'll be 600 damage just for basically standing next to them and I think at least if my calculations are correct the dragons should be able to solo um, the bears just based on their dodge ability uh, they will kill them before the relentlessness of uh, the bears kicks in so this here is going to be a bit more difficult we got a few archers that we don't um, want to take shots so what we're going to do is we're taking the dragons and we're going to engage the archers I uh, should have potentially used uh, the whip on more than one of them. Anyways, poison whip gets dodge and then nicely uh, kills this guy. And we're ready. Yep, that's a triple hit, but we're not burning, so uh, that is fine. We're moving up. Archer has already taken his turn. This Saurian is now uh, starting to dodge, so the saboteur, which looks like a pugilist, his first attack will be dodged. Hey, we had dodge, dude. Alright, first one was a dodge. That's not too bad. Unfortunately, pugilists are a bit of a soft counter for us due to the nature of dealing multiple attacks, of course. We're moving up. This guy is poisoned. And we got dodge, right? No, not right. Okay, we did not land a crit against him. Yeah, unfortunate. Ouch. Alright, fragility applies. Let's move up so that we're not easily flankable. There's the crit and that's dodge. Double crit, matter of fact. Okay. Move up. That's a nice hit. And 
Let's make sure that this raider is bound because then he can't hit multiples. Unfortunately, we don't have dodge. So there is already the willpower. Uh, the looter. Good. We're trying to get that henchman down. Fantastic. That was a wonderful crit. And a dodge. Yeah, let's not shoot him in melee. But yeah, that looter needs to die. And how about... Yeah, we do have one set of reinforcements. That's quite a bit to chew through. Everybody gets some healing, at least. Good, we're dodging and, oh yeah, fantastic. Uh, let's move away, we're only having one hit point. Okay, these guys are just doing the AoE attack, that's not a problem. Good hit, fantastic, more poison damage. Uh, the moment that we're moving, we're no longer dodging. Okay, good to know. Good. This looter here needs to die. Great hit. And that's a kill. Fantastic. And since we're dodging, we're just going to stay put. Still need to get used to that whole dodging uh, playstyle, but uh, these guys are putting up a very nice fight overall. Alright, disengage. Unfortunate. So you can't just disengage, even though they do have their AoE strike. Because that still counts as engaging. Okay, I see. <coughs> Good. Hit and... That's a kill, getting their DPS down. And we are dodging, right? Yep, we are. Fantastic. Good, we will dodge his hit. And a fabulous crit. There's the dodge. Fantastic. 
The dodge tanking can work. There we go. Good hit. Fabulous hit. Uh, who should get the healing? Potentially right here. And every single one of you heals. Very nice. Once they're bleeding, we can start to move up and really deal some damage. Very good. Dodge again. We're actually getting them down quite nicely. Slithers out of the area of danger and very much goes to town with him. That one-on-one -on -one fighting that I was talking about, right? So now he's trying to hit but misses, takes damage. The one thing that I haven't seen yet is that the burning colors are working very well. 50% chance um, to burn the target. Feels like less than that. Good, we're not moving because we're dodging. Great, and that's the first win on an arguably difficult battle. We lost the Saurian, which is unfortunate. But I think we did overall very well. So let me prep the second one, the guard fight now. All right, so we are wanted for a number of crimes, but we are not going to pay up. We're instead going to go down fighting one less Soren, but uh, we got level 14 enemies uh, Captain Illith here uh, plus a few reinforcements so let's see how well we're uh, doing against the guards this is arguably going to be a very difficult fight the wolves uh, got down two and a half guards I think and then crumbled even though they had all of uh, the advantages on uh, their side so this is a straight up fight against them. Um yeah, this this guy is a bit of a problem. Whenever you do have a problem, try to make the best out of it. And in this case, we're going in right from the start. There's the hit, the crit rather. Another crit, and we are currently dodging. Cool. We dodged their retaliatory attack, and we're good. I, by the way, exchanged uh, the colors. Oh, well. I was about to say, I, by the way, exchanged the colors uh, that uh, give burning for the ones that are healing in a anticipation that that might be helpful for us.
Weak bearings. The next time this unit is pushed back, they lose 10% of their maximum health, which is exactly what happened. At least we got the quartermaster almost done. Ouch. Okay, well, he takes damage from bleeding. Pikeneer is the next one. Uh, I would say... We're going to go in. Come on, give me dodge. There we go. There is the dodge. And a little bit of extra healing. He tries to retaliate. Unsuccessful. The next dragon... Begins to move up and takes this marina. Again, not a crit, elsewise we would have been able to dodge this attack. Unfortunately the attack uh, is pushing us back and we're already down to willpower. Oh, ouch. Good, let's try this again. But we're taking the best possible position. Hit against all three of them. That's good. And the captain is in melee. We need to deal on damage to this tin mirror as well. Question is who really needs to deal uh, needs to die. Um, well, that was a good hit. Little shot in the back. A little bit of heal over here. And then all of them take a bit of a heal. Thanks to our Beastmaster ability. Enemies are incoming. We're now heavily outnumbered. If it would have been just for the few, we would have gotten away with it. This here is a problem. All right. Shifting our front line down to here. Good hit, we're dodging. This might be a kill. Yep, vulnerability sets in nicely. I can't move because I would be losing dodging. Uh, that will at least counteract this cadet here. Very good. We still have dodging, so he can't really do much in melee. Um. Great hit. And uh, that's almost a kill. Once we get the captain down, that'll be great. Did we maintain our dodge? Yeah. Somehow the cadet can't, they really can only do something in uh, in range. All right, this guy will die. Bit of extra healing.
And everybody gets some healing. Okay, we're doing okay, I would say. All things considered. This here might be a problem. Uh, not great, but okay. This guy here will be a problem once it's his turn. But so is this guy. We need to hope for a crit here. There we go. Dodge. Do a very nice hit. And we're healing whilst he fails to hit. And then only pushes us back with the second hit. Takes some massive poison damage as well, so that's good. Poison into hit. And we still got our nice dodging. This dragon, however, is not doing very well. Luckily, is now getting pushed back so that uh, they are supported. Ah, uh, this might be willpower. No, dodge. Nice. I don't know why that bypassed willpower. Okay. We're losing a bit too many to, for my taste. The pugilists are a problem. Oh, and more reinforcements are incoming. Well, that's GG. But we still have the opportunity to take down a few more of them. Very good. We're still standing. Oh, oh, oh. The you take wasn't expecting that. Regain dodge. Look, I'm trying to heal <coughs> and withstand as much as possible, but I don't think that this is going to work out. We are officially surrounded. The dodge tanking works, but multi-attackers of any sort, specifically those with three attacks here, are making it impossible for us. And that's pretty much concluding it. We killed, I think, seven and injured the rest very, very well. But all good things need to come to an end eventually. We tried our best to withstand against uh, the guards here in the south, but failed. And that is a fitting end uh, to uh, this very serious. <laughs> All your companions have perished. The troop adventure ends here. Thanks a lot uh, for watching, guys, and uh, have a great, phenomenal day. The A tier is done. We're going to go down even further from here. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.